Are graphics cards nearing the end? Is Nvidia and AMD going to produce any more generations after these current generations we have? If you want to hear my opinion, stick around. I remember back in 2015 waiting for the 980 Ti to come out and standing in line just wondering how amazing of a jump it was going to be from my 780 Ti. The generational leap in value was always a question for people, but I always found that if I sold my previous card about two to three months before the new one would come out, I would have enough money to just slightly upgrade, in other words, pay about $100 and get another card that was just as good or even 30% faster. These generational leaps and 30% gains you would see basically stopped in 2018 when the RTX 2080 Ti came out. The only way to get the top dog card was to spend $1,200 and it was the first time ever Nvidia had a Titan RTX or a Titan price on a consumer based 20 or 80 class card. When the Nvidia RTX 30 series was announced, it brought really great value for a pretty decent price and it was kind of a return to form for Nvidia after their last Turing architecture pretty much failed. Tons of people kept their 1080 Ti's didn't upgrade to the new 20 series at the time, and then waited all the way another two years to upgrade to the 30 series. That being said, by the time you could actually get a 30 series, we had already started the pandemic and scalping had started, so pricing was all over the place. I'm not gonna go down the whole rabbit hole of that if you were trying to buy a GPU over the last two years, not including 2023, it was pretty tough. You were lucky to find an RTX 3080 for $1,400 and you were buying a 70 class card for seven, $800. So why am I telling you all this? And why is the title of this video, our GPUs coming to an end? I actually believe that the future is going to be APUs and that we're kind of hitting a wall. Over the past two years, I met people from my high school who are like complete sports nuts and would make fun of me and call me a nerd to the average Joe on the street looking for a desktop computer. And I understand that this was because of COVID and a lot of people were stuck at home for a while, but let's be realistic. The lockdown didn't really last that long. People just started wanting to have power and performance at home. They realized it's something they could customize and it really brought a whole new light to the industry that was supposed to be dying since like 2012. I remember back when tablets first came out, people were already saying that the desktop computer was gonna be phased out completely and laptops, tablets, phones were only the future. When 2022, or excuse me, 2020 hit and all of a sudden everyone was reaching out to me for a computer, it was actually kind of mind blowing. And I almost wanted to like point the finger back and be like, ah, I told you so. But instead of acting like the cool dude, I just built them computers and made some money on the side and everyone was happy. Where does that leave us today? Why is this going down such a crazy rabbit hole? Well, the 40 series has now become pretty much an elitist product. It's the most expensive it's ever been. To get a 4090, you basically have to spend $2,000. Yes, there are $1,600 models, and yes, the 4080 does exist, but to get any sort of performance gain over the 30 series, you need to spend crazy amounts of money. What is that gonna do to the market? Well, it's gonna start dividing it. Most people are still looking for 30 series, which means they're happy with the performance that's there. They don't really need to upgrade that much. Yes, running new games like Call of Duty, on a 1440p screen, you'll only get like 125 FPS on a 3080 Ti. But for most people, they just turn the settings down a little bit and they have an amazing experience and don't really have that itch to upgrade. We're kind of at that point where to get more performance, we have to keep pulling power and more power out of these GPUs is more money. And to be honest, I think there are just so many people happy with what they purchased a couple years ago that this next generation is gonna kind of flop. There will be a ton of people that still buy high-end stuff like the 4090 and the 4080, but it's a very small percentage of people that are actually buying those cards. When you look at something like Steam's hardware survey, there are still people using 1650s and 1060s from years and years and years ago. So it's not gonna change anytime soon. And the fact that some of older generation cards like the 30 series use a 3060 Ti for an example, can bring such good value and things like DLSS 
it's going to take a long time for people to just completely throw away what they just built not even two years ago and upgrade to something new. That being said, I think companies like Nvidia and AMD are probably going to skip an extra year on top of the two year cycle that we've already always been doing. Cards like the 5090 or 5080 are almost unnecessary at this point until we continue to drive graphics and different engines forward. And here's where I think things are gonna change. Look at something like the PlayStation 5. Yes, a lot of PC players are calling them peasants and all that stuff, but when you really look at it, the PlayStation 5, the year before, was equivalent to about a $900 computer. It's somewhere around a 2700X and a 5700 XT, and right now you can build a PC around a $500 price point that performs right there with that APU. So when you think it's already been around three years since the PlayStation has launched, you know companies like AMD and Nvidia have been working alongside making APUs stronger and faster than ever before. So what is that gonna do? It's eventually gonna make it so that you can just buy one APU or CPU you can put it into a motherboard and have a really fast gaming computer. And if you're not even into computers, it means something like the mid-tier or mid-step PlayStation coming out pretty soon, I've heard, is going to be a pretty powerful little PC for a decent price. Why would you go out and spend $3,000 on a computer if you can get a very similar experience in a little small box that you can just pick up for very cheap? Now, I'm not saying all of this because I want to see it end. This is my hobby turned profession. I am absolutely obsessed with computers and I want to see it grow. I do think that there will be another generation of cards. Um, I do think it's going to become less and less relevant as time goes on. And if companies like Ubisoft and Activision don't start per like putting forward real good efforts to optimize these games on PC, there's not going to be an, a market for it. It's just going to eventually go away. And I think realistically, these big companies kind of know that and want that to be the future. I know this has kind of been a talking head video and there's no definitive answer. Are GPUs pretty much coming to an end? The answer is no, they're coming to an APU. And that's just a fact. And we're all going to have to eventually adapt. I hate to see custom water cooling and PCs kind of go into these small form factor things, but as everything grows and the housing market goes up and places are smaller than ever and more expensive than ever, that kind of comes with the whole industry. That pretty much concludes my thoughts. And I just want to say before I go, if you're looking for a good card, the 3060 Ti is pretty much the mid ground best value um, on the Nvidia side. If you're looking at AMD, something like a 6700 XT can be found around the same price and will offer amazing value. That's going to do it, guys. Until next time, peace.